Funniest thing your drunk friend has ever said? My not so smart friend's girlfriend was drunk and going on and on about how he isn't as dumb as he seems and said 9 out of 10 times he is the smartest person in the room. This is not true, of course. So another friend replies that's because it's only you two in the room 9 times out of 10. Halloween during college. One of my friends is this really grisly looking guy with a beard so he dressed as a nun. As we left the house, already drunk, we saw some friends on the street. One asks hey man, what are you? My friend just looks around like really? Isn't it obvious? Then turns to the guy and goes on a dragon. B-R-A-A-W-W-W and barfs all over the place, turning his head back and forth like it's fire. Now, years later, he is still a dragon. I was back to my hometown over Thanksgiving break and I took my girlfriend with me. We were heading back home after a night at the bars and my girlfriend is pretty well tanked. We stopped to chat with a group of mutual friends, also back in town, and have like 10 minutes of conversation. I finally break off the chat and get moving and my girlfriend doesn't notice. She looks over her shoulder and notices I am gone so she turns, yells, and starts hobbling after me in her recklessly high heels screaming, my penis. My penis. He is walking away. Come back, like half my high school class was there to witness that display, which amplified the humor. Standing outside of a post football game kegger when the cops show up. A friend of mine was hammered, shirtless, and had ripped his shorts slash boxers almost to the point of falling off, and when the cops walked up, he shouted, You guys here for the gang bang? Needless to say, he was ushered away swiftly. Buddy sees a girl he recently had sex with, off in the distance. Ashley. She doesn't turn around. S. That's not her name. Drunk friend is nut tapping other drunk friend. Basically they are trying to punch each other and man marbles. The battle begins and this goes on for about 10 minutes, nut punches left and right. A third friend of mine leans in and goes no kings have ever played this game, put things in perspective for me. A few years ago my boyfriend got really drunk at a party he was throwing. Finally got him into bed and our mutual friend came in to ask if he was okay. He replies in the most serious tone, does a donkey feel okay after it's been funked by an elephant? After been missing all night long, he crawled into the house at about 5.30 am. We all were woken up by him coming in where have you been? His reply, dude, I'm pretty sure I just had a threesome with a stripper and Jesus. To this day, he doesn't remember that night. This one has stuck with me for a while because I found it so funny. We were 17 and at a party my drunk friend is in the middle of the kitchen and finds a bottle of Seagram's and loudly announces very matter-of-factly to the party, Oh Seagram's, I know about this. You see, Seagram's is made by fish. In fact all alcohol is made by fish. When fish congregate, which they don't do very often, they make alcohol. And this is why fish are content simply being fish. He then put the bottle down and went outside, completely serious. My buddies were drunk. And two guys starts to fight for the love of a third. I give you shelter, I give you food went back and forth for about 5 to 10 minutes. Finally his girlfriend at the time, drunk and annoyed, said, yeah. Well I give him blowjobs. She won. One evening a few fellow our ace and I are hanging out in the common room and we're passing time saying what decision we would make in ridiculous hypothetical situations. Suddenly, one of our most regularly drunk freshmen stumbles into the room with this line. Here's a hypothetical, Bill Clinton has a finger up your ass. What do you say? Get your presidential finger out of my ass, or I demand a recount. And passes the fuck out on the floor. Trash can? What's trash can? We lost our buddy at the baseball game, he went to use the men's room and we told him that we would wait by the trash can next to the men's room. He thought we abandoned him so he left, we found him sprinting down the street about 30 minutes later. Picked him up at a bus stop and asked him why he left his response I thought you guys left me, so I just went home. Dude, we told you we would wait by the trash can. Trash can? What's trash can? My roommate Jesse was laying face down on the floor. Me, Jesse, what are you doing? Jesse, I'm trying to get more sober, B. Another time, my friend had a house party, and my friend Cameron drank until the sun came up. Me, Cameron, seriously, you need to stop. Look, it's morning, it's light outside. Cameron, who the F turned all the lights on? Wandered around the city alone late at night, and stumbled into a Dunkin' Donuts looking for a bathroom. Saw they didn't have one, but it was just him and a girl at the counter, so he didn't want to awkwardly just turn around and leave. To justify it he looked down at his watch, then back up at her, said no time for eggs and walked out. Look at all these drunk people wandering around campus yells at them stop being drunk. I swear they're retarded. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that it's mean to people who actually are retarded wait 5 seconds retarded people should go to jail. 23 year old friend while drunk and high. 
the world of Harry Potter really exists. If we just find it and torture J.K. Rowling, she can tell us how to get there. As serious as he could be. Everyone just stared at him and laughed. He got slightly offended and then wanted to box everyone. My friend was trying to get us to come back and pick him up after we dropped him off at his apartment building because he was way too south in the first place. You guys come back. Just come back I found a Jack Daniels fountain. Just come back and we can steal it and have a Jack Daniels fountain. Then we can have a Jack Daniels fountain to drink Jack Daniels. What led us to bring him home in the first place? He leaves my apartment and is gone for a while. We go out and look for him. He jumps out from behind a dumpster, chucks a rock through the window of a parked car, this is unacceptable, and hides in a bush screaming the alphabet is chasing me they're coming for me. No idea how one gets so drunk they end up like they're on acid, but it was pretty funny, except for the rock through the window. V got another one. I brought some friends to my cabin to party a little bit. My buddy tells his then GF to come up to MN from Arizona, she went to college there, to hang out at my cabin. Sunday, 2am rolls around, and he wakes up from a blackout drunken state, and asks what time it is. We tell him it's 2 a.m. and we have to go home at like 12 p.m. He looks at his GF and shouts Sunday and OF fun day. Why don't you go upstairs? I got drinking to do. This led to an all-night argument in which they broke up and went back and forth over who they were going to fuck for revenge, then they had to drive home together later that day. Hilarious. My buddy broke down at the end of my wedding reception. He was really drunk so at the end of the night my mom drove him home and the entire way home he complained about all the bridesmaids wanting to use him for sex. While sobbing, they just want to have sex with me, dot. My mom told me about it a month later and I was cracking up. I asked a few of the girls that wanted his sex and they all told stories about how hard he hit on them. My roommate works in a bar and is just getting home in the morning as I am leaving. Sometimes he passes out on the couch before I leave and will start spouting off drunken gibberish in his sleep. Just yesterday he was going off about Jimmy Claus and the dude. I think my favorite was whoa. Dude's got cataracts. Oh. Look out, he's a squid. My friend was wasted and had just ordered Jimmy John's for delivery. It was taking way longer than usual, and he was getting rather impatient. He started just yelling nonsense, and finally said when that Jimmy John's guy gets here, I am MAF him. I think he was trying to say I'm gonna F him up or something along those lines, but the slip was hilarious. One of my flatmates was totally smashed and we brought her home, where she began to puke in the toilet. Her, guys. Guys, I think we should leave now. Us, we are home. Her, no seriously, I think I'm going to throw up, we need to go home now. Us, look around, we're in our bathroom. Her, looks around I told you. I was roaming the city streets with a friend of mine when an obviously homeless guy cruised by, pushing along a shopping trolley with a suitcase inside it. Friend shouts out, have a nice trip mate. Later that night I walked past a guy sitting in the doorway of a closed shop. Feeling extra generous I go over and hand him a $5 bill. His reply, thanks, but I'm not homeless. We just couldn't get it right that night. A friend of mine and I was out drinking on a weeknight and he had worked the day after. Well it soon became apparent that he was in no way gonna be able to work the day after so he decides to call the sick line of his job, basically an answering machine, and said the following. I'm current delaying in the pharmacy and can't come into work tomorrow, I'll explain more later and hung up. Then he stood there with a dumbass grin and thought he mailed it until I told him that he probably should have said hospital instead of pharmacy. All the co-workers thought it was hella fun though. I was the designated driver for my very drunk friend. He was in the back seat sort of mumbling incoherently. I decide to pull through the Taco Bell drive through As I pull up I ask him, Chris, what do you want? What do you want to eat? After a long trunk pause he says, pussy. Sweden sucks. I hate it. The only good thing about Sweden is everything except the taxes. A guy who lived in our corridor went on the ferry returning home from a trip to Poland. And another one, from my brother's friend. Who the F plants a bush in the middle of the F trail, when walking around in the forest and falling over a bush? My friends say very WTF type stuff when drunk. A friend ran into her ex-boyfriend, his new girlfriend, and some of her friends in a bar. Afterward talking to them briefly she says, they were all staring at me like I had 10 heads and a big black dick sticking out of my ass. Another friend on being hit on by a guy at a bar, I'd rather have all my teeth removed and replaced with public hair. My roommate was very concerned one drunken night as I was trying to feed a stray cat around my house some chicken. You can't feed a cat chicken, it's unnatural. It's like feeding a human an alien. A group of friends all went out drinking while we fished and we had two really drunk guys, two of my closest friends, well another sober guy and I decided to get food, so I drove to McDonald's and got some burgers. I gave my unbelievably drunk friend, two and a half for locos in, a burger and we went out on a walk, 
He had this burger half eaten for a good hour and we were out on the beach and a gust of wind made him stop look around and begin spinning around and throwing his burger screaming at the top of his lungs hamburger hurricane. He also called the drive through server and Nader when we were getting them some coffee to help sober up. Two occurrences, two different drunk mates, to know which was funny to me, or disturbing. First, drunk mate and I sitting on a couch, I am completely sober, cause I don't like to drink, suddenly he leans all the way towards me and whispers I got the weirdest boner right now, man. I just nod and say, alright, why did you have to tell me that? Then he says the reason I had to tell you that is because the weird boner is for you. I looked at him, got up, sat on a chair opposite of him, everyone is looking at him as he says, what? I just told him I had the weirdest boner for him. Second, me and another drunk mate at a party, he is gone, having drank several Captain Morgans, and some Russian vodka that me friend from Russia sent me, to know why he did, but I didn't question. As we're sitting there, a woman on the obese side comes into the room and my friend, drunk as fuck, jumps up and onto the nearest table yelling, there she blows, mateys, force the sails and charge the mighty whale. Everyone is confused until he jumps on the obese woman yelling down with ye, Moby D. Needless to say, he got arrested for that and I had to go get his ass out of jail. My friend was tanked and on a drunk bus at college, when an ugly girl started trying to flirt with him by playfully teasing him by saying OMG you're so drunk lol. She didn't actually say lol, but she had the look of a girl who does say it. My friend turned to her, looked her directly in the eye, and said you were way too ugly to be talking s, she shoot right the f up after that. What about you? Tell us your story in comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Right now!